An opportunity like this doesn't come around very often, not only because of where we are, but because of the circumstances. Triple H isn't here to try and hold you down. Owens and Zayn can't interfere. You control your destiny tonight. It's your chance to show the world live on the WWE Network that you belong in the main event picture on SmackDown. You can thank me by going out there and having the best match of your career. An opportunity like this, you can thank me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that my big singles match with Shinsuke Nakamura has now changed to a triple threat match with a rookie. Are you crazy? I may be from Georgia, but the legend of AJ Styles was born in the dome. So there's no way I'm gonna be upstaged by you or Nakamura. Oh, and don't forget, you still need to buy everyone dinner.
Jay hits the forearm. He got all of it. Buzz tosses Styles out of the ring. Can he steal this one? This is a career-defining win. I'd say it's a career-defining Japanese tour. He deserves to celebrate. Buzz capitalized on an opening to pin Nakamura. Capitalize is a nice way to put it. He stole the win from AJ. Wow, coming from AJ in Japan? That means a lot. Apparently, he's earned AJ's respect. If these two have formed an alliance, that could have huge repercussions going forward. Without a doubt. Well, that does it for us from the Dome in Japan. Thank you so much for those of you who woke up early to catch us live on the WWE Network. Yeah, now go get some sleep. Sayonara, everyone. Stop pandering, Byron. How are you feeling after that big trip? A little jet lag? Yeah, a little. I mean, can't complain though. Look, I just wanted to say maybe I could have shown you a little bit more respect in the past. You obviously proved in Japan that you deserve it. Hey, don't worry about it. I know you got the whole rookie treatment when you first got to WWE too. I definitely did. Maybe I was just doing the same thing to you without even thinking about it. We're cool now though, right? I don't know why John Cena is here, but I do know that Buzz will be in action. Coming up next on SmackDown Live. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. We have one of our breakout talents versus Aiden English. Going to And the man Ouch. from Chicago, Aiden English, hears the bell, and we're underway. Three. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Beautiful arm drag. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Whoa! A cross body! Slams him down with authority. Took him out at the knee. Seems people are expecting yet another great performance here tonight, which wouldn't surprise me at all given the talent in the ring right now. Dropped by a clothesline. Aiden English is starting to slow here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. Given the level of quality competition here in WWE, it's never easy to string together impressive performances one after the other. But like Corey, I wouldn't be surprised to see another one from this superstar here tonight. We're already on our way there, guys. This match has been great so far. Oh, I think this man means business. Oh, man. Oh, boy, he is rolling. 
What does Buzz have in store? And he hits a vicious neck breaker. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's got him covered. A kick out. This one's not over yet. Wow. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find a Death Valley bomb. Can he end it here? His shoulders are down. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. Now we have an idea why John Cena's here tonight. Because he has an issue with Aiden English's singing? Cena might not be a fan of the Drama King, but my guess is it has more to do with wanting to get a closer look at SmackDown Live's hottest superstar, Buzz. Take it easy, partner. I'm not out here for a fight. At least not yet. I'm here because I've heard all the buzz. You gotta see this guy who's blowing up on the indies. You gotta see this guy who invaded NXT and stuck it to Triple H. You gotta see this guy who won the US title and defended it in an open challenge week after week. Hmm, I wonder where he got that idea. You gotta see this guy who went to Japan and beat Nakamura and AJ Styles in the dome of all places. Now most people would get caught up in all that, but not me. You see, I've been around for a while. And so many times I've heard all the buzz. And then when it comes time for me to actually see what's behind the buzz, it doesn't measure up to the hype. So I'm out here tonight because I want to know, do you measure up, Buzz? Well, this might come across as arrogant, but I believe I measure up to every bit of the hype. No, oh, that's good. You should be confident in yourself. But I also understand it's one of those need to experience it firsthand to believe it sort of things. So if you truly want to find out if I measure up, how about you and me go one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam? After that, all your questions will be answered. Let's do it. If anyone knows anything about having immediate success in the WWE, it's me. After all, I was the youngest world heavyweight champion in history at the age of 24. But unlike you, Buzz, I didn't rely on cheap gimmicks like viral videos or invading someone else's show to make it to the top. No, I did things the right way. But that's not what gets rewarded these days, is it? No, now you get hot on the indies, show up, win a few matches on SmackDown, they get handed a main event match in one of the biggest shows of the year. Well, I am sick of it. I am sick of it. I should be facing John Cena at SummerSlam, not you. That is my spot.
Look, I could give you an entire list of reasons why I'm facing John Cena at SummerSlam. But instead, let me give you one reason why you're not facing Cena. Because we've seen that match over and over and over again. The WWE Universe wants something new and exciting, not Cena versus Orton part 589. I don't give a damn what the WWE Universe wants. Yeah? Well, I do. And since we have unfinished business after you cost me the US title, how about we give them a match they've never seen before? You versus me right now. What's in it for me? The chance to prove everything you just said about me. That's fine. But I was thinking more like if I beat you, I take your place in the match versus Cena at SummerSlam. Do you want to shut up all the critics and earn your big main event opportunity? Or do you want another handout? All right. To prove to you and everyone else that I've earned everything I've ever gotten, I'll put my spot in the SummerSlam match on the line. That's great. I look forward to taking it from you by giving the WWE Universe something they have seen before. Me hitting you with an RKO. Oh, flying forearm, that'll turn your lights out. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Drops the elbow on him. and crashing back down. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Sit out, pile driver. And here we go now. Randy Orton is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history with few weaknesses. Corey, how would you target the Apex Predator? One needs to look at Orton's medical history for the key. More than anything else, shoulder injuries have put the Viper on the sideline. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. This will test his metal for sure. Corey brought up Orton's many shoulder injuries earlier, and my quick research corroborates that. He suffered one just six months into his career, and has been out of action as recently as 2016 due to shoulder issues. Well, wow. even if you don't re-injure the Apex Predator's shoulder, it's still smart to target it as you'll drastically reduce the effectiveness of his RKO. What an incredible move. all his power to drive him to the mat. When this guy's on, look out. What does Buzz have in store? He hit. What's Triple H doing here? This could get ugly real fast, guys. We're about to have a new oh, man. Wait a minute. AJ Styles might have something to say about that. Why is AJ attacking Triple H? This is career suicide. Some people value friendship over money, Corey. Oh, those people are idiots. 
What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find it. It's in, it's in! Night, night. There is no coming back from that one. Randy Orton got the worst end of that stick. Drop kick. Oh, beautiful. Randy Orton's in a world of hurt. And the Viper needs to rally quick. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. I'm not sure he has much left. Executed perfectly. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Let's you should go with him, Byron. Three. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Absolutely has to get back in the ring. There's no way around it. He's going for it all. Gosh, I don't know if I've ever seen anyone utilize a splash like that. He's got the shoulders down. And he got a near fall out of it. Might have slipped there, Cole. He's really putting his athleticism on display here. He goes for the cover. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. human body can only absorb so much of that. That's how you put an X. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. This singles contest has a victor. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. Here is your winner, the superstar. Well, that one was over before it even started. I could watch them go at it each and every week. What a match. Wow. Just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match. Hey, thanks for having my back out there with Triple H. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my chance to face John Cena at SummerSlam. No problem. I know you don't have many allies on SmackDown, but from now on, you can trust me to be there for you. I saw what you did out there tonight. That took some guts to put your match with me on the line. Honestly, I'm surprised you did. I wouldn't be where I am if I played it safe. I don't take the easy way out, and no matter what obstacles are put in front of me, I never give up. Hmm. Interesting choice of words. Yeah, well, that's just how I live my life. For me, it's not just a catchphrase to sell towels. And you think that's all it is for me? I busted my ass for everything I have. And will continue to do so until someone has to drag me out of that ring. Guys, you have a match coming up. How about you settle this in the ring? You know what? That's a good idea, AJ. With all this talk about never giving up, how about you put your money where your mouth is? At SummerSlam, how about we make our match a submission match? <laughs> like I said, I don't play things safe. So you got it. I hope you're ready to dance at SummerSlam. Because I'm gonna make you tap. Hey, come on, that's enough. Are you sure that was the right decision? <laughs> no, not at all. I need to start learning some more submission moves ASAP. 